What I have here is, a, is an album of, of family photographs of uh, Wilson and his family. Um, this picture here is of Ernest Wilson, aged 23 years, which is the age he would have been when he first travelled to China in 1899. And as you can see, he's quite a handsome young man. And he's got that air about him of, of, of somebody who is, is going places. This is the earliest uh, photograph we have of Wilson's mother. And uh, Wilson had a, a, a very loving relationship with his mother. When he, when he wrote to her from his various places around the world, he would write long letters and they would always finish with, with lots and lots of, of kisses at the bottom uh, of his letters. He was very, very fond of his mother and uh, he looked after her well, even though he was away for, uh, for lots of the time. This is a, an early photograph of uh, Wilson's sister house in Acox Green, Birmingham, which is where the family lived uh, in the 1920s. And you see, it's quite a nice house. And this house, unlike many of uh, the, uh, the houses that Wilson's lived in, uh, still exists. And uh, in fact, uh, it's still there. And you see, it's, it's a little changed little change since the 1920s. Wilson's sisters, uh, Florence and May, uh, had a florist business while Wilson was doing his travels around China. And uh, in that they were quite successful. Ironically, uh, Wilson's sister Florence here actually died at, at a relatively young age from septicemia as a result of being scratched uh, by a thorn on a, on a rose bush. May lived to a very good age, she was well into her late 80s when she died and, uh, and she um, was very very fond of Wilson. Wilson's early education was, was quite elementary uh, and it's amazing really um, the, the volume of, of books that he published in later life. He would have left school at the age of 13. This was just an elementary school uh, where he would have gone from about the age of five to, to 13, just, just probably a single classroom or two classrooms. And he would have paid a penny a day to go there. The headmaster of the school in the log books describes Wilson as being a very ruly boy. In other words, very well disciplined. And later on, the headmaster actually recommended him, first of all, to a gardening job at Hewitt's Old Nursery in Soli Hall, Warwickshire, and then later on to a job at the Birmingham Botanic Gardens where, of course, he was able to, to carry out uh, much more sophisticated work on plants from all around the world. This is Wilson at the centre here, and already you can see that he's got that air about him of a, of a young man going places. This is a, a wedding photograph showing the Wilsons. Uh, Ernest and Nellie Wilson, they were married in 1902 after he returned from his second expedition to China. Uh, it's almost certain that, that Wilson met his wife while he was still working at the Birmingham Botanic Gardens. Um, it, it's thought that he was actually in lodgings there and, and he, he, that's where he met Nellie. In 1899, of course, he, uh, he was sent to China by the uh, firm of Veitch and given instructions to seek out uh, a particular plant, the Davidia tree, the handkerchief tree. And he sailed in 1899 from Liverpool on the Kinard ship, the Pavonia. This is the only photograph I've ever been able to find of the Pavonia. You can see. It's, it's quite a primitive ship, so life on board would have been, been quite rough and ready. And it was a long journey to America as well, which is where he, he, he had to go to first of all, to meet uh, Charles Brake Sargent in Boston at the Arnold Arboretum.